Joel and Ellie from the first Last of Us video game are the 112 scale figures we are going to check today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know today we are going to visit a smaller scale than normal and here it is the art box. Lean Toys used the rest of us because it is an unlicensed product. But here it is 112 scale action figures. In the back here you got also some details that you may remember from the video game. The art box looks really cool with a lot of coloring around. Inside we will find individual boxes for each figure. Miller, it's the name they are using for Joel, but this is basically Joel from the video game. And it looks really cool, this art box. In the back you got the cast and crew that work in the production of this piece. We got as well the box with Ellie, they used again Williams as a family name, but this is Ellie as we remember from the video game, such a good video game, one of the best I ever played. Uh, besides the figures we got as well a smaller box with some extra accessories that come with this double pack. Before moving on, Lim Toys does send this card together with the figures, the stages of infection, you can see the runners, the stalkers, the clickers, everything looks so cool. And here in the back, an instruction sheet, basically how to apply the bandages that they supply in a small bag. And you got as well how to craft the bladed tools, I will try this, and improve the articulation by adjusting the clothing. I recommend you to read this before you start playing with your figures. Starting with Joel, as you can see everything comes very well packed in this clamshell packaging with a lot of accessories, but we are going first to take a look here at Joel itself. It's been years since I had the 112 scale figure in my hand and I'm very impressed with the work that Lim Toys did with this. The head sculpt is insane. The level of quality and the details they did on this head sculpt are unbelievable because this is a very small figure, smaller than Quill from Hot Toys, but you can see how detailed it is. I really love the way they did the beard, the hair, the eyes, the scar on the nose, everything into the last detail. Here in the body, as Lim Toys has used this tool, you can see they even add an extra detail in his chest, which I think helps a lot for the realism of this figure. As for our Joe outfit, comes with this green shirt all dirty with blood spats, all full of weathering around here in the back too. They did it this into the last detail. The clothes are really very well done, especially for this size. You can see here the details in the arms too. They went into every tiny detail on this figure that looks really amazing. The only thing that bothered me is the wrist joints, but they supply bandages and we got the wristwatch then we can hide them. Here the pants, as you can see, with a lot of dirtiness onto them and I do like these details a lot. Passing then to the boots, the boots are very well done too. I need to remind you that this is a 112 scale figure, so this is very small, but you can see the level of detail they give into this. They even gave socks to Joel, which looks even more real. Overall, I think this figure for the outfit, the head sculpt, is a banger in 112 scale, the level of detail they did. For the articulation, you will not have any problem, but the manual, as we saw, does give you some info about articulation. You do need to have the t-shirt pulled up a bit for a better elbow articulation. Here in the legs, you also can extend them as this, but if you push the pants up, you will extend even more. You have, of course, a double jointed knees, which is, in my opinion, very good for a 112 scale figure. Then in the boots, you got a good articulation too. They are very tight. And then you got also articulation here in the torso. You can bend it backwards or front without any issue. For the articulation, I think this figure is on point. As for the accessories, it comes with six extra ends, and as you can see, even at this scale, they did the veins, everything is very well detailed. We got as well a brick, it is a very common piece in Last of Us, very well detailed with some weathering onto it. Then we got two pistols and a blade with so much detail for this size and the blade with all the blood over here looks insane, but these pistols, they even apply the lettering and codes 
and looks very very good. We got as well Joel wristwatch, as you can see it's broken as it should be, but the level of detail again it's really good. It will help us then to hide those wrist joints on his arm. A shotgun with a good amount of detail, the paint application is very clean. A pipe that is again other very common accessory on Last of Us with all the rust they apply onto this. Then of course you can craft a weapon because we do have accessories that allow us to do that. A mashet with this wooden handle that looks amazing. It's not die cast the top part but I think the detail on this, the painting application looks very very good. We got this uh, nail trap, if I remember this is the name, but I used this accessory a lot before and it's superbly done. We got two half scissors that we can use to craft a weapon with the pipe for example. Joel backpack, the detail on this is very well done, the fabric they use, all the materials look amazing. The flashlight here, it's a very nice detail and all the straps, everything they did in this backpack, I'm sure it's accurate to the game and looks so good. And finally our Joel display base and they used in the nameplate the full name Joel Miller and I really appreciate that. It has some texture here in the top, it's just a sticker but I do like the design and then you have a crouch grabber. Before passing to Ellie just to check the small accessories that come in that small box, we got here this gas mask, looks very good, I think you can use it with Joel because the straps seems to be fully functional. We got as well a baseball bat with some marks of blood onto it and this is made of wood and looks good. A Molotov cocktail that looks pretty impressive for this scale, even the printing is very clear and the bottle is very well done. We got then this kind of blade or a machete, also with a lot of blood, the handle is very well done too, it's all plastic but very durable. Passing now to our Ellie, this is the head sculpt that I really love and I feel difficult to show you all the details because my camera cannot zoom enough to show you all the details in her face, but the scar on her forehead is there and the hair looks beautiful. You got some different shades of coloring in the hair that I love and this ponytail you can move especially when you are using the backpack. As for Ellie outfit of course a red t-shirt with a sweater inside all dirty looks really really cool and then we got the pants with a lot of dirtiness Ellie pants are even more dirtier than Joel and here her tennis are completely dirty. From the down to the top you really can see all the dirt in these tennis and I do love this detail. As for the articulation, the head articulates well but take care with the ponytail. The body is a smaller body yes but the articulation is very good especially because Ellie has a larger clothes as you can see here the elbows movement are perfect and they move very very well. You got some movement on torso as well, you can bend forward and backwards and then in the legs the movement is good but you need to put the jeans a bit up if you want to extend them even more but I think like this is just enough. Of course you will have um, double jointed knees as we saw with Joel, very easy to manipulate with this figure, the body looks of a very high quality, the socks are there too which is again a sweet detail to have onto this scale. The waist have some articulation too, you will not have any problem to do any poses with Ellie, I think looks amazing. As for Ellie accessories, we got this sniper rifle, this one looks beautiful, even the numbers are printed there, this wood material with all the weathering and with the scope, with the purple coloring over there, looks superb, I love this sniper rifle. We got Ellie bow as well, very well done, very well painted with the elastic here, if you want to use it with the arrows I think you can. And Ellie backpack and this looks pretty pretty cool, all the detail they applied here, it's amazing, all the tiny pieces are very very well done. The coloring, the weathering on this backpack is amazing, the flashlight over there again same as Joel, an amazing detail, having Ellie with his backpack on really brings you back to the game. Ellie also comes with a brick but we already see with Joel and comes here with his gun and with his pocket knife 
again this pocket knife very well detailed for such a small scale that's why I need to hold it in my hand. Ellie comes with four extra hands and I'm just showing you here closer these two. They look well detailed and painted. We got of course the arrow, very pointy, the material is weathered enough. I do like all the details they did into this. And finally our Ellie display base, again they use the full name Ellie Williams. I appreciate that and also with the same texture as we draw all these display bases together will look amazing. Taking a closer look here now at Joel after having his backpack with a bow borrowed from Ellie. Again this head sculpt looks so good and when you have the accessories on him it really brings you back to the game. The chest piece here I think it's amazing, gives a lot of detail to the figure and here I already tried craft a pipe with the scissors over there. I don't think I would survive Apocalypse because my crafting ability is not that good. I really love this figure. Looks amazing. There are so many variations you can do with all the accessories you have. I went with just a simple pose, not the pose itself, just using some accessories. You can see here all the wristwatch can hide the joints and this is a game changer because not having those joints visible it makes a lot of difference and here I did apply the bandages that Limp Toys supply. Overall I'm very happy with Joel, looks really amazing. As for our Ellie, I'm always having problems to showing you how good his head sculpt look because it's such a small head, it's difficult to show on camera but when you have these in hands you will be amazed as I am. I do like Ellie, everything that she comes with. I prefer having her with less accessories because I remember her with a backpack. Attention to the ponytail when you have the backpack on. I love this backpack, all the details look so amazing on it. Then I have Ellie here with the gun, but you can see here all the details on the sweatshirt, all the dirty. Limb Toys went over with all the details, I think they did an exceptional job. Everything on this figure looks perfect. It's Ellie from Last of Us, my favorite video game, and now I have it in my home. It's been years, as I said, since I had a 112 scale figure in my hands, but Lim Toys did an exceptional job with this. The detail, it's amazing, all the accessories, everything is on point. If you are a Last of Us fan, you must have this in your collection. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this review. And I will see you in the next one.